I'm standing at the gate of the CS Ranch, which played a very major role in Wee James' career. He was here very briefly in the summer of 1921. Okay, but before we get to the CS Ranch, let's try to just take a global view of the situation in which Will James was. 1919, in February, Will James got discharged from the U.S. Army. We don't know where he went exactly, but there is a possibility he might have visited Charles Russell at this time. What we know is in May, he was in Reno to reunite with his friend Fred Conrad and the other one, Elmer Friel. Will James got a job to find some stock for the Roundup, but more importantly, he got his first paid artistic job to design the poster of the Roundup of that year. Since Will James was spending a lot of time at the Conrad's house, he met Alice, who was at the time 15 years old while he was 27. This is also when his cowboy career came to an end, when Will James was bucked off the horse happy. Very serious concussions uh, in bed for a few weeks. He knew that it was over. And from that time on, he decided that San Francisco was the place for him. So in September, Will James enters the California School of Fine Art on the evening course. In the afternoon, he works in a movie theater to make some money, of course. And in the morning, he uses the time to perfect his work. Even if he was at the fine art school for only three months, this day was extremely important because this is where he met painters like Maynard Dixon, Harold von Smith, or Lee Rice, and other people. He got to spend a lot of time with those people and they actually persuaded him that he was wasting his, his time in school. He was really getting a lot of tricks and having a lot of discussions with those people. And it was probably more valuable for an artist like him than spending time on school bench. But his artistic friend went further than that. They contacted the president of Sunset Magazine, who was also the chief editor, Charles Field, and they suggested that uh, he published a series of drawings from Will James. He checked the drawings and agreed to do that. 1920, first publication of One Man Horse in Sunset Magazine, January 1920. From then on, Sunset will publish practically every month some illustrations from Will James. Not only does he receive praise from all his artistic friends in San Francisco, but he received this laudatory letter from his idol, Charles Russell. At this moment, Will James was in total confidence as an artist. He really started to feel that he could make a living. He was selling his drawings to Sunset and a few, he got a few other contracts. Shortly after that, Alice came to visit her sister in San Francisco, but of course she spent a lot of time with Will James. This is when he proposed and the next month in July, Will James made a short trip to Reno where he officially married Alice Conrad who was 16 years old at the time and he was 28 years old. Right after the wedding, the new couple had to go back to San Francisco since Will James had many drawings to deliver to Sunset and a few other magazines. The next few weeks were particularly painful for Alice. She was very young, had no experience, didn't know anything about painting, didn't know anything about art. She was not a very good cook. And all those artists would come home uh, and, and were very blunt about blaming her for marrying with James. They kept telling her that an artist should live alone, should not be with a woman like her. Uh, and she was very miserable. So it came as a relief when, because of financial reason, uh, with James got a job at the Diamond Bar Ranch, northeast of Kingman, Arizona. The ranch was owned by very famous rancher Tab Duncan. And she was temporarily very happy to be away from those mean painters. But it was not for long because she found it very lonely out in the desert. Will James was working from morning till evening. He was very intensively using this time to become a painter. And she found it obviously quite difficult. And this is quite revealing because I just found out that uh, on December 19, Alice writes to Cliff that the cowboys have to leave in a hurry with the mail, so she's writing instead of Will, who's too busy. But the interesting point is that she informs him that they are going to Santa Fe. So already from December 19, Will James had already made the decision with his wife that by January they would be in Santa Fe. Um, this goes contrary to what has been uh, told in uh, many publications so far. 1921. 
Santa Fe was the place to be if you were an artist in America in 1921. Artists from the East Coast, from the West Coast, were all gathering around the governor's palace. And the Fine Arts Museum was the central pole of attraction for all those artists because they were generously exhibiting uh, the work of all the artists who submitted their work to them. The major patron of the museum was an art lover, a rancher, lawyer, politician, and businessman called Frank Springer. He even at the town named after him. Competition was fierce in Santa Fe, especially since most of the tourists coming there were interested in the Santa Fe look in the paintings, while Will James kept doing, of course, all his horse and cowboy topics. But one day, this man, who turns out to be the governor, Merritt C. Mitchum, walks in and buys a painting from the Diamond Bar Ranch for $200. Alice, being a city girl, she feels much more comfortable in Santa Fe than uh, at the Diamond Bar Ranch. She, at long last, can have some sort of a social life. And during this period, Will James becomes a very good friend with Frank Springer's son, Wallace Springer. Wallace is actively involved in all the artistic life of Santa Fe. They really become very close friends. Wallace visits them very often, having dinner, discussing until late at night with uh, Will James. And when the bunny becomes a little tight for the couple, Will James doesn't hesitate one second to ask Wallace if he couldn't introduce him to his brother, who's managing the CS Ranch. Obviously, Ed Springer didn't need an extra cowboy, especially since uh, Will James had asked for a gentle horse since he couldn't ride anymore the rough ones. Uh, I think most of the people expected him to be really an artist and not much of a cowboy. So to everybody's surprise, he turned out to be a real top hand and impressed everybody with as much with his cowboy abilities as with his artistic abilities. On the 7th of August, Will James wrote to his friend Cliff informing him that he expected to go back soon to Reno where he intended to open a cafe. He was asking his friend to invest, but this letter was sent before he met Ed Springer's neighbor, Jack Nairn, who had a special guest from Yale University, Burton Twitchell. Burton Twitchell was totally overwhelmed by Will James' talent as an artist, by his intelligence. They were captivated by his charisma, but also by his storytelling qualities. They really were totally impressed. And Burton Twitchell offered to give him scholarship at Yale. They would pay for him. So this is how this wonderful relationship started with Ed Springer and the CS Ranch. In September, Will James left for Yale, but it didn't last for very long, as we know and as we should have expected. But what is important is that his three sponsors didn't uh, let him down. They decided to back him up, despite the fact that he was leaving Yale. Uh, Burton Twitchell took him to New York, found an apartment for him, introduced him to his friend who was the editor-in-chief of Life magazine. He liked his work, but life couldn't take uh, Will James' work. Nevertheless, when Will James went back, he knew in his head that it was happening in New York and he had to make it there. Uh, at Alice's suggestion, he decided to try writing a text about Cowboy's story. And he submitted the text with illustrations to Srimner's magazine. And we know the rest.